This just became the fastest American production car ever. The Corvette ZR1X has officially taken that crown, and it didn't do it quietly. It did it by delivering an acceleration figure that forces the entire performance world to stop and pay attention. 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour. That number matters more than people realize, because acceleration is the purest form of performance. It doesn't depend on track length. It doesn't depend on courage at high speed. It doesn't depend on aero at 200 miles per hour. It's instant truth. And in that first moment of motion, the ZR1X stands above every American car that has ever existed. For decades, American performance followed a familiar formula. Big engines, big power numbers, big noise. But when it came to execution, when it came to putting power down cleanly, efficiently, and brutally, American cars were rarely the benchmark. That narrative ends here. The ZR1X isn't just powerful, it's precise. This is a Corvette engineered for the modern era, where milliseconds matter and software is just as important as horsepower. Chevrolet didn't chase tradition when building this car. They chased results. And the result is a launch that feels less like acceleration and more like reality being fast forwarded. What makes this achievement even heavier is that this isn't a one-off miracle run. This isn't a stripped prototype or a car running on special fuel under perfect conditions. This is a production vehicle. Street legal tires. Pump gas. Factory engineering. That detail alone separates the ZR1X from so many headline-grabbing performance claims in the past. Because this is a car that owners can actually drive, repeatedly, without the performance falling apart. And that's where the conversation shifts. This isn't just the fastest Corvette ever made. It's faster than any American production car before it, regardless of era, brand, or engine size. That means everything from classic muscle icons to modern supercars now sit behind it. And Chevrolet didn't achieve this by accident. They built the ZR1X from the ground up with one question in mind. How do we make the fastest accelerating American car possible? Not the most luxurious. Not the most exclusive. Not the most expensive. The fastest. That focus is why this moment feels different. Because for the first time, American performance isn't reacting to global benchmarks. It's defining one. And if this is what the ZR1X can do at launch, then the deeper story isn't just about speed. It's about how Chevrolet finally cracked the code. And that's what we need to talk about next. When you hear 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour, it almost sounds unreal. Because numbers like that weren't supposed to belong to American production cars. For a long time, American speed was about straight line power after the launch. Once the car was already moving, that's where it shined. But the first 60 miles per hour, the hardest part, was where traction, control, and precision exposed weaknesses. That's exactly what makes this moment historic. The Corvette ZR1X didn't just improve on the past, it erased it. To understand how big this is, you have to understand what 0 to 60 actually demands from a car. It's not about peak horsepower. It's about how quickly torque is delivered, how evenly it's distributed, and how well the chassis stays composed while everything is trying to break loose. Most cars fail right there. Too much wheel spin. Too much delay. Too much instability. The ZR1X does the opposite. From the instant the car launches, everything is synchronized. Power delivery, traction control, drivetrain response, all working as one system. There's no drama, no hesitation, just immediate forward motion. That's how you get 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour. And what separates this Corvette from earlier American performance cars is intent. This wasn't built to sound fast or feel wild. It was built to be efficiently violent. Every component exists for a reason. The drivetrain is calibrated to deliver torque instantly, not gradually. The electronics don't wait to react, they predict. The chassis doesn't flex or fight itself, it stays planted and neutral. That level of cohesion doesn't happen by accident. It's the result of Chevrolet treating acceleration as an engineering problem, not a bragging point. And that mindset shows in how repeatable the performance is. This isn't a car that needs perfect conditions to shine. It doesn't rely on luck. It relies on structure. Run after run, the ZR1X launches the same way, brutally fast, controlled, and confident. That consistency is what separates real performance from headline numbers. And it's why this Corvette doesn't just win on paper. It wins in reality. 
When a car can deliver 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour without excuses, without special preparation, and without compromise, it changes the conversation. Because now the question isn't how fast American cars can be, it's how anyone plans to catch up. And to answer that, we need to look deeper at the engineering choices that made this possible, not just power, but layout, balance, and control. That's where the Real story continues. To really understand how the Corvette ZR1X delivers 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour, you have to look beyond raw power and focus on layout. Layout changes everything. For most of American performance history, cars were built around a front engine, rear wheel drive formula. That setup made sense for power and simplicity, but it always came with a limitation at launch. Too much weight up front, too much power going through the rear, and traction becomes the bottleneck. The ZR1X doesn't play by those rules. This Corvette uses a mid-engine platform, which fundamentally shifts how the car behaves under acceleration. With the engine placed behind the driver, weight is naturally biased toward the rear wheels, exactly where you want it when launching hard. That alone gives the ZR1X a massive advantage. But Chevrolet didn't stop there. They added electrification not to save fuel, not to chase emissions numbers, but to solve a performance problem. Electric motors deliver torque instantly, with no delay, no ramp up, and no waiting for revs. That instant response is critical. When the ZR1X launches, the electric system fills the gap before the combustion engine reaches peak output. There's no dead space, no pause. The car is already moving at maximum intent. This is one of the key reasons it can hit 0 to 60 in 1.68 seconds. And then there's traction. Traction isn't just about tires, it's about how force is applied. The ZR1 XS drivetrain is designed to distribute torque in a way that keeps every tire operating at the edge of grip without crossing it. That's incredibly difficult to tune. Too much intervention and the car feels slow. Too little and the tires lose grip. Chevrolet found the balance. The software controlling the drivetrain isn't reactive, it's predictive. It anticipates slip before it happens and adjusts power delivery in real time. That's why the launch feels clean instead of chaotic. And this level of control is exactly what American cars were missing in the past. Not power. Not sound. Control. The ZR1X represents a shift in philosophy. Instead of overwhelming the road with horsepower, it uses precision to make every bit of power count. That's also why the acceleration doesn't feel dramatic in the traditional sense. There's no wheel spin, no sideways movement, no struggle, just relentless forward motion. When a car behaves like that, it doesn't feel like it's trying to be fast. It feels like it was designed to be fast. And that's the real breakthrough here. The ZR1X isn't an American car borrowing ideas from elsewhere. It's an American car applying modern performance principles at the highest level. That's how you get a result like 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour, not by brute force alone, but by building a system where every part supports the same goal. And we still haven't talked about how this performance holds up under stress, heat, and repetition. Because speed means nothing if it can't be sustained. Consistency is the part of performance that rarely gets attention. Anyone can post a fast number once. What matters is whether a car can do it again and again without falling apart. That is where the Corvette ZR1X separates itself. Delivering 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour is not just about raw speed. It is about surviving the violence of that launch. The drivetrain, the cooling system, the electronics, and the chassis all have to work together under extreme stress. Chevrolet engineered the ZR1X for exactly that scenario. Every time the car launches, massive forces move through the suspension and into the chassis. If there is flex, delay, or weakness anywhere, performance drops immediately. The ZR1X does not show that weakness. The structure stays rigid. The suspension stays composed. The power delivery stays clean. That is why this performance is repeatable. This is not a car that needs time to cool down after one hard run. It is built to handle repeated launches without overheating motors, batteries, or drivetrain components. That is a major difference between real-world performance and headline-grabbing numbers. The cooling systems are oversized and purpose-built. Heat management is treated as a performance requirement, not an afterthought. When the car is pushed hard, temperatures stay under control and the software does not pull power. That matters because modern performance cars are limited as much by heat as they are by grip. 
The ZR1X does not just accelerate quickly, it does it without panic. And that confidence shows in how the car behaves. There is no hesitation, no sudden reduction in power, no feeling that the car is protecting itself from the driver. Instead, the ZR1X feels stable and deliberate. This kind of behavior does not happen by accident. It comes from thousands of hours of testing and calibration. Chevrolet focused on how the car behaves under stress, not just how it looks on paper. This approach represents a turning point for American performance engineering. The conversation is no longer about potential. It is about execution. When a production American car can repeatedly deliver 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour, it proves that the industry has moved into a new era. And there is still one major piece of this story left to discuss. The impact this record has on the wider performance world and what it forces other manufacturers to rethink. When a record like this is set, the shock does not come from a number alone. It comes from who set it and what it forces everyone else to confront. The Corvette ZR1X delivering 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour changes the hierarchy of performance. It moves the conversation away from image and toward results. For years, American performance cars were judged with qualifiers. Fast for the price. Fast in a straight line. Fast in certain conditions. Those qualifiers no longer apply. This is outright performance. What makes this moment powerful is that it did not come from a niche manufacturer or a limited run experiment. It came from Chevrolet, a brand that builds cars at scale and puts them into the hands of real drivers. That matters. Because when performance reaches this level in a production car, it stops being theoretical. It becomes the new standard that others are measured against. Manufacturers now have to ask difficult questions. If an American production car can achieve this level of acceleration while remaining street legal and repeatable, what excuses are left? Is it engineering philosophy? Is it prioritization? Or is it simply execution? The ZR1X exposes the difference. It shows that chasing peak numbers at the top end is not the only path to dominance. It shows that focusing on how a car behaves in the first moments of motion can redefine what performance feels like. That is why this record resonates beyond Corvette fans. It speaks to a broader shift in how performance is being engineered. The ZR1X is not just fast in ideal conditions. It is fast in the way that matters most. Immediately. Decisively. Without drama. That changes expectations. Drivers now know what is possible. Engineers now know what must be matched. And brands that once felt untouchable now have to respond. This is how progress happens in the performance world. One car forces everyone else to evolve. The Corvette ZR1X did not ask permission. It simply delivered the number. And once a number like 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour exists in the real world, it cannot be ignored or undone. There is only one part of this story left. What this means for the future of American performance and where Corvette goes from here. The Corvette ZR1X will not be remembered as just another fast car. It will be remembered as the moment American performance crossed a line that could not be uncrossed. Delivering 1.68 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour is not just a statistic. It is a statement of capability. It is proof that American engineering has reached a level where it no longer needs to explain itself or compare itself cautiously. This is not speed achieved through excess or spectacle. This is speed achieved through understanding. Understanding of traction. Understanding of control. Understanding of how every system in a car must work together when the margin for error is measured in milliseconds. What makes the ZR1X special is not that it is extreme. It is that it is deliberate. Every decision made in this car points toward one outcome. Maximum usable performance. Not once. Not occasionally. But every time the driver asks for it. That is why this record carries so much weight. It was not set by a limited run prototype. It was not set by a hand-built experimental machine. It was set by a production Corvette. A car meant to be driven. A car meant to be used. A car meant to deliver this performance in the real world, not just in headlines. And that reality changes everything. Because once a car like this exists, expectations shift permanently. Drivers begin to understand what modern performance should feel like. Engineers are forced to rethink priorities. Brands are forced to confront whether they are truly pushing boundaries or simply protecting traditions. The ZR1X does not protect tradition. It challenges it. 
It challenges the idea that American cars are only about straight line power without finesse. It challenges the idea that ultimate acceleration must come with compromises in control or consistency. And it challenges the idea that this level of performance belongs only to a select few. This Corvette proves that the gap between theory and execution has finally closed. Acceleration is no longer about drama. It is about inevitability. When the ZR1X launches, the result feels decided before the car even moves. There is no struggle, no chaos, just immediate, controlled forward motion. That feeling is the future of performance. And it is why this moment matters beyond Corvette fans or American car culture. It marks a broader shift in how performance cars will be judged going forward. Not by how fast they can be under perfect conditions. Not by how impressive they sound on paper, but by how decisively they perform when asked. The Corvette ZR1X has set that standard. From this point on, the fastest American car is no longer a question. It has an answer, and that answer carries consequences for everyone else. This is not the end of innovation. It is the beginning of a new baseline, and everything that comes next will have to rise to meet it. If you like this kind of content, like, share, subscribe, and comment what you want us to talk on next.